Shalom. Assalamu alaikum, my friends. Guess what? I went back on the Hindus' heated debate. Here I am again. Now, in this, I'll, I'll set this conversation up for you. So, there is a Muslim that was on here and the Hindus, and they were arguing again about their nonsense of their books and the word meaning. And they showed a scripture reading. Let me see if I can go to it. Um, where they were, here it is. All right, so. So here we go, is the scripture reading that they were showing. Let me clean my camera off for you guys really quick. All right, so I can get a clear one. All right, so in this, they were talking about this word right here. Here. So, and killed whoever was present. And I saw this, and they were talking about it, and I saw that right there, and I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. That word does not mean what you think it means. They did not go and slaughter and physically take life. That word killed does not mean to take life. And I tried to explain to them. So let's go to where I tried to explain to these guys. So you can hear me. All right. So I'm going to hit pause real quick. Uh, and set this up for you guys. So hang on. Okay, so we'll go right here. Now, they, they took me off because I was telling them something about that word does not mean that. So let's go to where they bring me back on. Okay, here. Or aapke paas ek zinda jo hai all right, I'm back on, down here. They muted me. So this guy can lie. I muted myself. So they connecting me. They think they think. See, all these people think this is all funny, and I I was even nice. I tried to be nice to these people, and so on and so forth. And I'll play like this role for a while. But after a while, I'm going to remember all their attitude and everything that these clowns have ever done. And when I rise up, I'm going to fuck them all up. So let's go, let's see. Go to where they want to know and ask. Hang on. Let's wait till they pull me back up on the big screen. Pop to here. Okay. So, good night. I heard a little bit that I'm talking about drinking pee, right? Drinking no, no, camel pee? Not. No, not no, no, that no, earlier. No. He's talking about the word killing. I'm talking about so before when I first called. Mm -hmm. Okay, just hear me out. You're talking about drinking. So, right? Okay, so let me give you the context. So earlier in this video... They were bringing forth a, a Islamic um, uh, surah uh, from a hadith where they were talking about it's okay to drink pee. And then they were debating, talking about how it can cure cancer. And then they were saying, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. All this jibber jabber. And first of all, I mean, if you want to go drink a bunch of fucking piss, you're a dumbass. All right. Pee is poison. If you drink your own piss, you can end up getting bad sick. Let alone drink an animal piss, you're getting bad sick. They use horse they take attributes from horse urine. Certain things are taken out of it to for diabetics. So in the same manner, 
they don't understand when they're talking about, no, people didn't just go around drinking camel piss. There may be a, something that they could have extracted from it in some manner using alcohol or some other kind of uh, um, whatever that word is. Scientists know what I'm talking about and remove something out of it and then use that as some sort of medicine for something. But the straightforward drink piss straight from the fucking uh, thing. No, you end up getting bad sick. So that was fucking stupid. But. In this, now let me set this up. So then they showed that uh, other thing where it was talking about kill. And listen to the way I address them. Listen to how I, I, I explain to them that that word in the Arabic has many contexts. Just like in our society when we say kill, that word has different connotations and has different meanings depending upon the whole the context. And you have to understand this. You don't know the context of something unless you're living you're in the living to understand the context of something. And I'll explain that here in a minute. Ready? We have Satya here to talk to you. Please be patient and reply when you are asked to, right? And you can ask questions anytime. Go ahead. Well, yes, but but when I hear someone lie about that word, kill, and that's a misinformation, and that misinforms the whole world. That word kill does not mean if every religion... And you can go to anyone's religion imam, and say, imam, is it imam, is it okay imam, just, to kill a man? Imam, just a second. Imam, you have Answer to understand. No. Increase your volume time. Tell me the reference where you're speaking from. The reference is in the living. Satya, listen to what I say to you. So you can have a better understanding of your own damn life. Anything you read in a book creates imagination. You're not in the living of the manner of a book that you're reading. You're in the living right now. So all your information of what you know of in the present is only found and understood among the living. God is not the God of the dead. He is the God of the living. So when you go around and you want, you want verification of where I get this, and I told the man, in the fucking living you get your verification. This is a fact. You, anybody can read a book and many people can read and imagine different scenarios. So if I say there was a big fire at the hospital and the fire truck came and all the firemen got out and they put it out and you read that in your imagination, would the building look like it's going to be different? Would the fire truck look like might be different? Would the firemen look like and how many there were? How big was the fire? How little was the fire? All that's going to be different amongst anyone who reads it in your fucking imagination. So books do not give you truth. They only give you a scenario. They don't give you the full truth. Understand that, people of the world. Now, let's go. Uh, the What do you mean? What, the word that... The, the word You're kill? saying yeah, it doesn't say kill. You say it's, it says smite. Where this is coming from? Just give me a reference. Yeah. Well, so I, I told them when he was talking smite, I told them that word kill is from the original word that is called smite. Smite is the kill. They used, They took from the word smite to smite. And then they used uh, other forms and languages to create that word kill, meaning to take a life. But the word kill doesn't only mean to take a life. You can use the word kill. I killed it in basketball. My feet are killing me. There are many ways you can say that word that doesn't mean that you took someone's fucking life. Understand that real quick in the living, Satya. In the living, understand it. Now, let's go and I'll try to explain it. Okay, so, they have to understand the word of, of languages, all right? So, we, let's go with our living right now. If you see two men, and you say, these two men, they were in a battle. Mom, so you don't have a reference? Listen, what is a reference? He asked me for a reference, and I'm trying to give him the greatest reference of all is your living fucking life. The greatest reference is what a witness can witness in the living of what's happening. Four. I am telling you, you the living of your life. No, listen for, I need, uh, you're Satya, saying it's misinformation, Satya, Satya, but you listen. say it can also be termed as misinformation, right? So I need books to substantiate. Listen See, he me. needs books to substantiate. If your book doesn't give you proper context 
and proper context of the in the living. What good is your fucking book, Satya? What good is your book, man? I'll give you a book. Listen, I'll give you a book. All right. All right. All listen right. first. Listen. Listen first to the, the the logical explanation of our living life. What you can experience. You can read all day long. Interpretation and Imam, listen, go for interpretation. It. Go for it. Imam, give me, give, Imam, go for it. Go for it. All right. So, in the living of our life, if you see two men, and you say, "Hey, man, those two men are fighting or they're battling," and one of them lost. Now, that word there, you can say that that man smote. So the word smite oh. or smote, we all have the understanding. Hey, that gore it pakore. means to destroy or to win. Gore, so, gore pakore. Gore pakore. So, Hear me out. See, they don't want me to explain it to, to you guys. They don't, they don't, they're not, li not listening. No one is listening. So that word, kill, has many meanings. Like I say, my feet are killing me. Does it mean my feet are taking my life? If I say, I killed it last night, does that mean I took someone's life? So that word has many multifaceted meanings. Okay? Understand that. You don't need a book. You don't need a dictionary to explain that. In the living of our life, we know if someone walks around and they give you a high five, ah, you killed it, man. And then somebody writes a book, two men walk by and they slapped each other's hand and the other guy said, you killed it. In your imagination, if you're just looking at the word and not the actual living attribute of what took place, you're not going to know what the fuck really happened. You're going to think someone killed somebody. It took a life. Duh. But in the living of your life, you understand it because God is the God of the living, not the dead. So they don't want me to explain it to the people in this great manner for you to understand that even if God says, don't kill. That's that's that don't kill, motherfucker. That's it. Point blank. There is no but if, but if, but if. No, it's simple. Don't kill. So I explained it in a previous video, and I tried to explain to these guys, but they cut me off. Interpretation and translation are not the same fucking thing. So you could take the word kill and translate it into every language in the world. That word. But that word in the living of our life has many interpretations that it could represent in context of what is our living life, correct? So what's greater? What I'm telling you or what you're fucking reading in a book, man? Wake up. We are in the living, not the dead. So I try to explain. They don't listen. They don't want to listen. Let me even finish what? my sentence and what? explain to you so you have the understanding of the word. No, 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 no. So, I just want to understand. Listen. That is why I'm interrupting you for the better understanding of the panel, basically. So what Everyone word knows, do you are you talking know about that means? has been mistranslated here? What's the word that has been mistranslated? Please. The word kill. The killing attribute. Yeah. Killed. So that does what's, not uh, mean... Now you so what do you that, think you is, the, all, so listen, do you Muslims, think is in the original text? What do you think is in the original text? It's not about, it's not about words. It's about what you oh. know in the living. It's about what you know in the living, okay? So see, he's saying that the word was mistranslated. No, I didn't say the word's mistranslated. It's misinterpreted. There's a difference between translation and interpretation. If it's translated properly, killed is killed, and in every language we have these words, but in the context of how we're using it is different. So I set out with 150 riders and we dismantled it and killed whoever was present there. This word doesn't mean that they actually took a life. It could also mean that they defeated. I killed it in basketball, man. We won. We won the game and I killed it in basketball. Does it mean I killed every basketball player on the fucking court? No, it means I won. I won the battle that was being presented here. It doesn't mean I killed everyone. It means that everyone who was present there they got defeated by whatever we did. Does it say what they did? No. Does it say that I picked up a sword and I cut the man's head off? 
No. It just says that they killed it. Dismantled it and killed whoever was present there. Then I came to the prophet and informed him and he invoked good upon us and Al-Hamath's tribe. So, that's what I was trying to get at to them. This word originally is smite. All words, and, and I was arguing, so you, I'll, I'll play it so you can understand. We'll get into it. Back then, back then, nobody was educated to write or read any of that nonsense. What this is new word, stuff. This what is new word because, all, has look, been, so you have the Arabic here. What word has Sanskrit, been translated? Even Sanskrit. How old is Sanskrit? According, oh, according oh, to oh, 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 So I was trying to ask them about the Sanskrit. So according to your words and your books and things that you wrote, who's older, the flesh or language? What came first, flesh or the alphabet? Everyone, answer. Alphabet came last. Flesh came first. Then we created alphabet. But even before we had alphabet, we were still living lives, doing things. Then books Writ, got written or an alphabet was created so we had a language created so what's older sanskrit or the people who speak it the, the, topic. the living of a listen could you answer the uh, uh, word has has been... Wait, we are we are a second imam okay. i don't want to hear you ramble i want you said give me a minute you said give me a minute take a minute you took a minute i am still waiting for a reference you're not speaking about reference you're not speaking about the arabic language you're not speaking about the word you're speaking ja random jargon please don't say that ja i'm speaking random jar am i now everyone who watches my video compared to what their logic is am i speaking a lie or am i speaking the fucking truth i'm speaking the fucking truth they're the ones lying and the way that they post it, the way that they're doing it, the people that watch it, you're not going to find the truth until you understand what I'm teaching. The Jordan, words, no. Give me the line, give me the word. The Lord God smote all of men. Where is it written? Where is it written? The Lord God smites where is, it Israel, where is which it is written? Where is it written? Listen, which where is, is older written? than the Imam, where is it written? Everyone knows. So show me. I don't know. Show me. You look at the computer. Computer. You down down. All you have to do is look at the Show me don't where is up. it written? Smote. Which word is translating Go. into smitten? Smite, smitten, smote, or kill. Which word, the same Arabic, which word in the word. Arabic in front of you? Which word in, in front of you? In order See, I'm you trying to under, get him to understand. It doesn't matter whether they write smite, smote, smitten, kill, slaughter. These are all words that have the same translation, but not interpretation. Understand the meaning of Who what you is know happening. Arabic? You do, you know Imam, Imam, do you know how to be present in the living? Do you know? Second last line, may highlight the word. Listen, let me explain so the, the so people Imam, can understand Imam, the truth without everyone lying. Imam, 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 I need you to be honest. Imam, right. Third last, third last, eighth word. Tell me, do you know how to be present in the living? Yes, I know the Arabic language. Fuck you, asshole Muslim, who think I don't know Arabic. I can speak any language in any tongue I do it. In the technology that we have today, listen, we're not going to speak, Sanja. In the technology world that we live in today, a woman can speak. Imam, 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 you're not listening. Imam, you're not listening. Which word in front of you says it means smitten? The word the word they have translated for kill is, is yeah. the is so you see right here word of knowledge because it's written. When you write the Quran, the Quran is a whole different language wow. than the okay. language of wow. Arabic. So, Google Arabic. so I try I was trying to explain to them that even in the Muslims' understanding of the way the Quran is written and how it's written written, and they don't even understand it the way I understand it. The language is the language, but it is written in a manner 
that does not necessarily mean what you're interpreting unless you're in the living and understand the living of what took place. Then you can have a proper interpretation of such fucking things. You can read this and many people can interpretate this in different ways based upon the different words that are placed in this book. But the way that it is placed and written, just like the Bible, just like the Torah, just like all the word of God, there is a special language writing way that God does it that has specific understandings and meanings where God is not going to violate his own commands, period. Don't kill is don't kill. You take a life, you committed sin. It's a violation of the law. So when I say the, this word kill, it doesn't mean I committed a sin. Same way I gave you the previous video. So we killed it last night and they obeyed us and Muhammad blessed us for defeating the enemy's works. And we smote everyone there. We gave them all a lashing that was there. We made everyone there run away from us. And we dismantled that which we needed to dismantle. Right, you understand? So when you're writing in Arabic, when you try to take the word of God, I'm going to be writing it. Okay, it's good. Good, bro. So they blocked me again. Let's see if when they bring me back on. Okay, they brought me back on right here. Okay. Exactly what I'm talking about. But you won't let me explain it in the living of your life. So you have a clear understanding. Okay, you're telling that all the people who have translated the Sadiq have translated it wrongfully. So we just want Duh! To know That's what the Mama that Mahadi. Ma what do you think? So Listen, please. these are Hindis and they don't even understand what the Muslim Hadith means. Imam Mahadi comes and yes, he retranslates the whole fucking Quran the proper way. And just like I do the Bible for the Christian, just like I'll do the Veda for you, and just like I do the Torah for the Jew. It's my authority. It's who I am. Just recite, just say the word which has been highlighted. Because that's the word you're talking about. Khatal. Something Imam. was. Where's the man that wrote that book? Bring him forward Imam. for me. Bring please, that dead man's ass out of his dead man grave and let me debate that dead ass. Oh, I don't want to hear. All the word that we are talking about. He's upset you... because, see, they say this is a word. Look at the book. Okay, go get the motherfucker who wrote this. If you want to debate me, then you go get your source where you got that from. You want me to give you a source? I'm giving you a source of the living of our fucking life right now. And you're denying it. Now you want you want to bring your evidence then? Then I demand that you bring your source of who wrote it and teaches it this way. You go get your source and you bring them to me. They can't because it's a dead motherfucker. And the dead motherfucker could have actually meant the way that I'm teaching, but he's dead. You'll never know. So whoever's teaching the way that is being taught and they're in the living, you're a fucking lying piece of shit scholar. Fuck you. Have been translated wrongfully so that we know that you know what you're talking about. Please just pronounce the word that has been highlighted. You're fools. So that word, the word for kill is not kill, first of all. In the context, in the context, you could be saying two men are fighting, one man lost. If you have a, if two men go to battle and one man loses, what do you think took place? That the loser died? You haven't still. See, he answered. cut me off. He won't let me finish. So I was explaining. What do you think took place? If I say a battle took place and there was a winner, somebody won. And there was a fight. What took place? If if there's two people fighting in the street and there's a fight going on and that guy won, does it mean that that guy killed the other guy? No. He had a, he beat him. He beat him, and he ran off like a like like a, with a like a dog with his tail tucked between his leg. He lost, but he didn't die. He didn't get his life taken. 
Every day in UFC, there's battles that take place, but they don't die. So these words, even in the UFC, they'll say, man, I'll kill you, motherfucker. I'll kill you. I'll whoop your ass. I'll kill you in the ring, man. I'll kill you. And then after they win, I told you I'd kill you, man. I killed you. Does it mean he took his life? No. No, fuck no, you assholes. Wake up to the living of your fucking life and stop reading a bunch of damn books because you're getting ignorant. The more you put your nose into this shit, the more ignorant of the living the life that you're actually experiencing. A question, because you don't know what you're talking about. You're saying and they keep saying, I don't know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Prove to me I'm not speaking the truth, dipshits. Come on, prove it. Go get your fucking scholar and dig him out of his dead ass grave and dig up his bones and set him in a fucking chair and let's have a fucking debate. You're saying you're picking up arguments from there. You don't know any. Constantly. See how ignorant he is? They're all like this. This is the way they act. That you know stuff. All right. Let me ask you a question. That word you have highlighted. Does that word in your language of Hindi or Punjabi mean to kill a man, meaning to take his life? Ooh, I caught him up with that and they wanted to block me again. They didn't even answer. So I ask all you Hindus, when this word gets translated into your tongue of Hindi, do you have different interpretations when you speak? Is there a word in Hindi when a basketball game takes place and the winning team kills it? And they killed the other team, man, and they won. Do you have a word? Does that word translate to the same word as taking a life? Even though in basketball game or cricket or whatever you're playing, you really didn't take the man's life, but you did kill it in the game, didn't you? Okay. Okay, motherfuckers. Wrong the word. Yes or no? Answer the question. You want me to answer your question? You answer my question so your audiences know the facts and truth. Okay, take it. Oh, to he took it away really quick. Me. See? He went to prove me wrong. English, English. Yeah, it's called Google Translate. You can match it right now. Yeah. See, here it is, bro. It, if you took that and yes. translated that Arabic word into the Hindi or Punjabi language, would it mean to kill or take a man's life? What does it mean? To take a man's life or to injure a man read to where what, he can no Imam, longer fight? Imam, read what from the screen. Win. Imam. Read so, what? does it mean that I injured the man? Does this word in Arabic mean that I could have injured the man and he can no longer fight and I defeated him and basically he killed us and he killed us? So, if you even use the word us, so the us is still alive saying that he killed us. You see how they write it in that translation as well? Us would be dead. And this would be the word them. He killed them. Them would no longer exist in the living. But the word chosen here is us. Us is still alive. Who's us? The ones we killed. But they're still acknowledging that they're alive in the connotation of English. And he killed us. And this word here is katal. Like I said, not with these other things to it. So they're not even presenting the proper word. And they're not presenting the proper context of this whole ideology where it's supposed to say, and a life was taken. Life. No, this is just basically, you read it. He killed us, man. He killed us in basketball. He killed us in battle. He killed us in sports game. He killed us at fishing. Whatever you want to write at the end of us, us is still alive in existence. But they got defeated. So this is a word also you can use for being defeated. Just like I give you the context of it. 
Understand, motherfuckers, now? Who's wise? Who's so wise now? You think you're so smart, motherfuckers. And then watch what he asks me later. He's going to try to get me to go to his Muslim scholar that teaches him. I'll put that Muslim scholar in a fucking dead man grave along with whoever translates this nonsense into the improper context. Screen. This is Google Translate. I got you. Hang on. I'll read for you. I can't even see it. I'm using I'm using my cell phone. I can't even really see this, to be honest. I know what it is, but I it's so small on my cell phone. I can't really see it, so I have to go get my big eye, uh, my my micro my magnifying glass. Okay. 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 And what's in English? In English? In English? In English? In English too? In English too? Please, please, please. And he killed us. Oh, okay. Thank you. Now, now, wait, 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 wait. What did I tell you before? Before I spoke about this, I said interpretation and translation in other tongues are two separate things. You can bring take your, a word. You bring can take your a translation. Word. I'll be happy to look at it. Pull up the word. The pull up the word in Hebrew. Nakha, which is well, older than this Arabic. Why, which why is, would wait, I wait. listen to this in Hebrew? It's in Arabic. The word Arabic. Okay, so he said it's in Arabic, not Hebrew. Look, first of all, all Semitic languages derive from an original Semitic language. And the oldest Semitic language on our planet right now that's spoken by anyone is a Canaanite tongue, which is called Hebrew. Hebrew is older than Arabic. Most Arabic Semitic tongue derives from a root word that derives from a root word that goes towards the Semitic Canaanite languages to become what you know of as Arabic, my friend. So that's why I wanted you to pull up Nikal, but you can't even pull that word up because in that word, I can prove to you you're a liar and they didn't want to do it. Arabic is a, a Semitic language. The oldest Semitic languages where all Semitic languages come from is called the Canaanite language. So the Canaanite Imam, language, the only language of Canaanite to, that you're exists... Me to read, listen, Imam, you're asking me to read Arabic through Hebrew. Listen to what I just told you. There are languages, and every language has a connection to its original language. Understand oh, that. But the language is different. So it is connected to the language. Is the language is not different. To say Nakal is the same as to say basically it's if you say Nakal or this word here, it kind of sounds the same, don't it, everyone? Why? Why would that sound kind of alike? Well, because this originally come from that Canaanite Semitic language of Hebrew to begin with, man. And I asked him, I asked him, uh, the Muslim that was on the channel, I asked him just to prove more in the living of our life. I asked him, I said, okay, Muslim, you Arab, you freaking Hagar baby. Who is your father? Who is the children of Ishmael? Who's their daddy? You're going to say Abraham? What language did Abraham speak? Now he would have taught his sons this and then they would have created languages out from that sourced language of your father, assholes. All, Semit all Semitic languages derive from what? There is I a don't single know, entity. but it's a different language. It may have been no, different. You can't say Hindi and Sanskrit are the same. You can't take a Semitic language all right, and have that meaning. And you can't take a Semitic language and say, oh, it's all by itself. It didn't derive from nowhere. <laughs> it did. Arabic came from nowhere. It's a whole language they created all by itself. And no other language is like it. It, it. No other word can describe these words because there was no other language before that one. Get out of here. And then try okay. to get into a different in letter. not finding a common it tongue. Contains... I'm not interested in finding a common tongue. I'm interested in finding what the Arabic word actually says. You're asking me to. This is idiotic. You're asking me to read Arabic through Hebrew. Now they, they mute me again. Or it's going to tenement three joy body screen. Or it's going to be a Avengers. And then they talk shit. They talk smack. 
<laughs> they, they want to make fun of me and my beard. Oh, I got food. Who gives a fuck, asshole? Speak to me in your fucking tongue when you're talking about me and speaking to me. Speak to me in fucking English, dick shits. They can't even do that, and they can't... See, if you can't give me that courtesy as a guest on your program, and you have to be backhanded and talk shit behind my back, you're a fucking coward and a joke. You realize that. And the whole world realizes that when they come to my channel and see the clip of the same thing you're showing, and then when I show it in my manner, you are a rude, crude, socially unacceptable garbage fuck. I would never treat anyone that came live with me in any manner like this whatsoever. They mute me again. Yeah. And I'm basically just saying all Semitic languages derive from an original Semitic language and then they broke off, branched out from there. That's it. And from the branching out, they create context or different meaning. It's like today, go fuck yourself. Does that mean you're going to literally go have sex with yourself? So if I say the word F-U-C-K, it has different context and 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 interpretation not translation translation is fuck is fuck as a translate to any word f-u-c-k translated in any language is going to be the same f-u-c-k but the interpretation of it can be changed can't it can't it everyone in the fucking world dipshit motherfuckers and this dick, he thinks he's he thinks he's Saeed. You think you related to me? You related to Imam Mahdi? Are you related to me? I don't think you are. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you claiming to be that name? You think you're my relative? You think you're related to my grandfather and my family? Huh? I never met you in my life, dipshit. So here the whole time, here the whole time, I'm trying to say fuck the Arab. Basically, I'm saying fuck these Arabs, man. Fuck them. They're the ones causing all these damn problems. They're the ones that have taken out fucking words and they're describing certain things and then they try to s say bad things about my grandfather that are untrue because they follow Abu Bakr. They don't follow Muhammad. And like I said before, Fatima hated that man. He was a lying piece of shit that tried to kill and murder all my family. Fuck them. And fuck any Muslim who follows them. And fuck any Arab who causes problem in our world based upon your foul ass Islam. So now we'll go. Let's see if he lets me talk. Still not letting me talk. Okay. So there I'm saying, go, I hear I'm telling him, go fuck yourself, you Arab slave. You're an Arab slave. So I start saying, any, any Hindu, any Indian who is from India itself, and you following that Abu Bakr Islam, I say, you're a fucking slave to Arabs, you dirty man. Fuck out of here. And I tell all of the people in India, throw those Arabs out of your land and throw that foul Abu Bakr religion away from you if you want fucking real peace. Get rid of those fucks. So I'm telling you. 
मेटाफर का भी कोई मीनिंग होता है ना जैसे कि मिसाल के तौर पे आपके लिए ये बात नहीं कह रहा मैं जो आवाम सुन रही है उनके लिए कह रहा हूँ मेटाफरी के लिए मतलब एक एक बात हम कहने की बता देते हैं तो ये क्या मकसद है so now let's see where let's see if they let me talk us waqt to jab suraj ne still not letting me talk wo light ban kar diya usne matlab nahi nahi are yaar bhai ek maine ek ek meme dekha tha koi ek what he saying here to andhera hua ke akmar vuad member for 2 months the word for killed is not killed imam mehdi 2024 So I uh, I'm I I'm hoping Akmar Vulet you understand what I'm actually teaching here for you that that word literally it does not mean to take a life and if you come to my video of when I upload this aspect you hear my words and understand a greater truth and more of a living evidence so we're not fighting and arguing in a manner of Cain and Abel anymore it's nonsense These scholars, these religions have created such hate, such lies that it's got all of us in the world.